journey of a content creator. Yo guys, what up? So a couple of weeks ago, I was in a slump, and a slump, and uh, how did I get through that? Super easy. Started focusing more on your guys' questions, answering your guys' questions and concerns, which is really great too, because it also gives me content to make, you know? And then another thing what I stopped doing was, I had to slow down the consuming, slow down the Instagram feed, watching Instagrams and TikToks and YouTubes and all that, and just get back to focusing on me and my content and what I'm doing. Trying to compete against myself, get 1% better with each video. And some people are like, 1%? Like, really? Yes, really, 1% better. Because if you expect big things, oh, this video is gonna do t t double the views I normally get, then you get butt hurt and you're like, oh, I didn't do that great. I put all my heart and soul in it. But if you start trying to get 1% better with each video, that's, a, that's something better. So what I've been even doing in YouTube, there's a little, a little chart that it basically tracks your last post. Is this doing better than your last video? And that's my scoreboard. That's my me trying to compete against myself and beat myself. Oh, did this video get first place in my scoreboard? Oh no, it got third. Okay, what could I do better? What could I do better? Maybe I can do a little less jibber jabbering, a little bit more showy. Sorry guys. <laughs> so, just a quickie out on my morning walk. Wanted to share some knowledge. Wanted to share some vibe and share some love. All right guys. Whew. Patrick LeVar, keep filming. Talk to you soon. Peace.